Millions of people hit the skies for the Thanksgiving holiday. We're giving you an inside look at a program that's designed to keep you and other air travelers safe. This involves special canines and their handlers who are trained to detect explosives. Jack Fink live for us over at DFW International Airport with a story we'll only see here on CBS 11. Jack? Yes, we do. Well, Doug, the dogs work at the security checkpoints and at other places around DFW Airport and at other airports across the country. And we met one of the teams during their training, and they are now based here. I've been wanting to work with canines since I was very, very young. So we've got uh, wide body aircraft. Hup. Raquel Granado oh says her dream came true. After working as a passenger screener at DFW International Airport for about a year, she applied for and was accepted into TSA's National Explosives Detection Canine Program, based at Lackland Air Force Base in San Antonio. Hup. Granados and her oh German God. short hair pointer named Sultan have been inseparable since August 31st, when they started training together as a team to detect explosives at an airport. Very good, doggy. From searching inside an aircraft to sniffing out explosives hidden by passengers in a terminal. Referral. It's a reminder every day that you can't, you know, make mistakes out there. You know, we, I want to be 100% so that he's 100%. Here at Lackland Air Force Base, the TSA trains between 140 and 170 canines at any given time, and their training can change if there's a new threat. All the way to the bulkhead, they have to be able to interpret what the dog is telling them at that time when they're in that odor plume. And so, you know, if they can read that nuance, that change of behavior that we teach them to read, uh, they're going to be successful in life with that dog. Granado says her dog, Sultan, graduated as the top dog in the TSA program at Lackland this month. And they are now assigned to DFW International Airport, one of 20 such teams at this airport alone. The work that we do is so important. And a lot of it's, it is overlooked sometimes, but, you know, when you see this guy around, you know you're safe. Good. And the canines are evaluated often and must be certified each year to make sure they're at the top of their game. Now, if they don't pass, they have to receive additional training until they're able to get back on the job. We are live at DFW International Airport tonight. Jack Fink, CBS 11 News. Jack.